you look at all the different companies, wrestling companies around, AEW is the only one for me that I and I'm projecting that feels like the wrestlers take pride in the company. It's not that they show up, they get a check, they read their script, they go home. But you, you see the wrestlers inside and out of the ring. They represent AEW as not only workers, but fans of their own product. And how does in, in today's climate with wrestlers where it's politicking and you know buying the fastest cars, how does an atmosphere like that get built in a company like that? And you're a guy that's been all around many different companies. You're probably the best suited to answer that question. Hmm. Well, there's a lot of us in AEW who have either A, never went to the big time or have gone to the big time and didn't like it. Right. And now we're part of this company where, yeah, we have freedom, but we're also appreciated in, in a different way. You know what I mean? And we just appreciate what we have. For instance, me, after 20 years on the independence grinding, being able to go to a TV show is something that's gr just great to me. Whether I'm on or not, just the fact that I'm going to possibility of being on TV, I'm happy with and I'm grateful for. So that's why people, you know, when I cut my promos and I say AEW, this and that, yeah, I ride with AEW because they rode with me. You know what I mean? And then you look at the people who left WWE who are now with AEW, either they weren't happy at WWE or their contracts expired, whatever the case. Now they go to AEW and they're like, oh, wow, this is different. I feel appreciated here or I feel whatever they want to say or they have more freedom there. You know what I mean? That's on the person. But that's why people ride with AEW when they get there because it's a different environment. Now for the young ones in the locker room, mm -hmm. you know, they're going to learn. You know what I mean? That not everywhere is like this. That's why I think guys like myself 20 years in and other guys who've had X amount of years in who've grinded or been at WWE and now here see it for what it is and are appreciative of it. That they know that it's not always like this in wrestling companies. That there's not that much freedom. And there's not a boss that's going to talk to you about an angle instead of telling you, no, you're doing this and that's it. You know what I mean? We have open discussions. So that's why I think so many people represent AEW that are there and ride with it so hard is because it's different well it is different i mean i've been in the back and in the culture of your company aew wwe yeah. uh impact wrestling you got uh, aew and impact i'd see it would say that is the most similar because it's like it, everybody's very nice i mean not saying that the wwe they weren't nice but there was there's not that tension yeah that's what everyone tells me. I've never been to WWE, but every person I've ever met that's gone there has told me about that tension. And that got to be a rough way to live, man. And if I'm not even a fucking wrestler or a worker and I walk in and I can feel, I mean, I am a performer and I do my yeah. thing and I've been in enough environments when you're in a band for 30 years, you know what tension is. But, yeah. <laughs> but my point is, it's like being at AEW up in Chicago when I came there. And how welcoming and how everybody is is very nice and and just you can feel the atmosphere. There's no there's no bullshit. If there is, it feels like it gets quashed or squashed pretty quick. Yeah, you know, things are said. Things are said. The, the, no one backstage holds their tongue. Well, I don't, but yeah, I know a lot don't either. If we see something that's detrimental to the company, somebody will speak up. Doesn't always have to be me. There's always there's other people there. Some people will pull people to the side and let them know, hey, man, that's not it. You know what I mean? Well, they won't do what I usually do, which is, hey, in the middle of everyone. Hey, you mother whatever. You know what I mean? Right, right. And then, well, hey, I mean, you know. Well, the one thing that I fucking didn't do, I, it's like Moxley was there. I have his fucking book. I've been reading his book. The few times I wanted to come and go up to him and ask him to autograph my book, he was in the middle of something. And then, then he fucking disappeared. And oh, I'm that's like, what he always does. Yeah. yeah, he always disappears enough. on me. And then next thing you know, I get a text. Where are you? <laughs> I write back to him all the time. I was right next to you. Why'd you leave? <laughs> or I'll text him and go, you're not, Batman's not real. You're not Batman. Stop. <laughs> well, he disappeared. I never got a chance to introduce myself or anything like that. 